Hey guys, welcome to another video for Electric Unicycle and Gadget Reviews. And yes, if you have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button so that you can see the latest video on the Electric Unicycle and Gadgets review. For this, I'm going to do an unboxing and a little bit of test and trial of uh, this King Song 14D. Yeah, King Song 14D 420 watt hour, which takes about like 40 km range, depending on your weight and your terrain, whether it's upslope, downslope. With my trusty pen knife, let's open this up. Okay, the packaging is uh, the standard China cardboard box. Ooh, that's a nice styrofoam inside. Okay, let's go. This is the manual. Let me see. It's in English. English. Okay, good. It's all in English. Hmm. Okay, let's put this aside. Oh, nice. This is uh, compatible to local uh, two pin charging cable and a rather large charging adapter. This is a large one. It, okay, so this is like 100 to 240 volts uh, charging input and the output is a DC 67.2 volt. Yeah, not sure whether you can see that. Okay, let's put this aside and... Wow, nice styrofoam. Just carry this out. And that's about it. Let's not take inside. Let's open this up. We got a nice smell. Yeah. The weight of this unicycle is about 12.5 kg, but fear not, that is a trolley handle for you to push around. When the Kingsong 14D is powered on, it's actually like any other unicycle, it's very easy to push around uh, as if effortless, you know, you just need to guide left or right. Uh, you do not need to uh, you know, use a lot of strength to push it around. Uh, even though the Kingsong 14D is powered off, it is still possible to push it around just in case you want to push it when the battery is flat, it's still very, very easy. However, with a maximum range of 40 kilometers, I haven't encountered the situation when the power is totally flat. Uh, you can actually place on the ground and you know stand by itself, but it's not as easy as uh, it looks. It, it is actually very hard to you know make it stable. A light touch, it will tumble over. So I'll DIY a stand for this. The padding on the side of the Kingston 14D is relatively soft. When you press onto it, it's like hard cushion, but it's not extremely soft like those uh, memory foam. Okay, the pedals is flat totally with uh, anti skid tape, which uh, prone to wear and tear. So I need to replace uh, the anti skid tape over time. Uh, another downside is the pedals is hard pedals without magnet, so you need to actually uh, push it downwards very forcefully in order to ride. So I'll DIY a magnetic pedals in the future. To turn on the Kingston 14D, simply press on this button for about two to three seconds. Press and hold, and you turn on. There you go, and you turn on the headlights, which is the white color headlight. A short press on the same button, you'll turn the headlight on as well. And this headlight is very, very sensitive to the surrounding uh, lights. If it's too bright in the surrounding, like a daylight, you'll turn itself off automatically. And turn it on when it's dark uh, in, in the surrounding. It's dark, you'll turn on automatically. One thing I like about Kingsung 14D is the charging port design. It is covered by a rubberized cover which prevent any rain from touching the charging port and it is a standard 3-pin charging port that most electric unicycle charger can use and which is very very nice and another side is a accessible USB port for you to charge your mobile devices in case of emergency and of course the 
fuse is located here so you do not need to open up the casing to replace the fuse of this uh, King Song 14D which is very nice. One thing I realized after a couple of days of usage is the casing does feel a little bit prone to micro scratches especially when you lay down on the side of the floor and sometimes if you fall on the ground there might be some scratches here and there but it's not very visible and uh, you can actually use a wet cloth and then wipe off the fingerprints marks very easily but I, I feel if you want to be perfect you might want to uh, put some bumpers or uh, some kind of wrapping to prevent scratches that easily but uh, you know just maintenance will do upon closer inspection i realized there are four bluetooth speakers on the kingsong 14d which you can actually connect to your smartphone via bluetooth and play music as you write the speakers are also used to give speed warning in case you over speed a certain speed limit which is a very very good safety feature Kingsong has its own application on the iOS and Android. Turn on your Kingsong 14D and scan for available devices and select of course the KS uh, with the correct serial number and you'll be able to have all the settings that is available for you. If you touch on the lightning control you can turn on the headlamp to turn on the headlamp press the off you can turn it off when you turn to auto it will turn on when it's too dark turn off when it's too bright one cool thing about king song 14d is the color light control you can turn to mode one for a faster multicolor control mode two is a slightly slower but uh, multicolor as well mode three is in a different direction which is uh, slightly faster so you can choose based on your own personal preference which is uh, for me is mode number two okay the next thing is to set the speed limit setup uh, that is to give you the alarm of a beeping sound based on your setting or what speed you beep there's like three different settings for your cycling mode you can select player mode cycling mode and learning mode personally i pref prefer the player mode for fast acceleration and harder braking if you do not like the beeping you can turn on the voice control or you prefer beeping you can turn it off if you go to the main page of the king song application you should be able to see your information about the speed in terms of kilometer per hour battery life 90 percent and also have a little buzzer for you to alert pedestrian if you want to you are able to check your battery life by looking at the LED indicator on the side of the King Song. However, when you're riding, it's a little bit hard to check your battery life. You have to stop and then see the LED. If you observe the pedal is slightly angled upwards, it, making it very easy to do sharp turns. If you turn on player mode, it's very easy to do the reversing. But obviously, you need to train on how to reverse before you can do it. But use the player mode, it's much uh, easier on acceleration and deceleration making it uh, optimum uh, mode to do reverse using the king song acceleration is very fast using a player mode and deceleration is very safe as well one very cool thing about king song 14d is the built-in trolley handle bar which you can actually push your your king song to indoors where you cannot ride uh, without any effort at all even if it's turned off you can actually push the unicycle as well which is very very effortless Personally, I like it a lot. Even though it's slightly shorter than the Emotion V8, it is very sturdy. And here I'm actually testing in real time how to push the pedals down, which is a slightly slower than magnetic pedals. Uh, but it's not an issue. I'll do a DIY in future videos. Kingsong 14D is the second best electric unicycle out there in the market. The next best will be maybe the Kingsong 16S or maybe the 14S which is coming into the market. I really like this Kingsong 14D very much and hopefully you guys will too. And I hope this review will give you more insight onto the Kingsong 14D and maybe help you out on your decision whether to buy or not to buy. So basically that's it for this video and if you have not subscribed please do subscribe to catch up with my next video and if you need more information you can find the links in the description below thank you very much and have a nice day see ya bye bye